Okay guys, we're back and once that carbon fiber spar and the wing has been glued in, what you want to do is you want to take and turn this over and you can just leave the wax paper on there, turn this over. Next you want to get your ailerons. I'm going to show you how to make a glue hinge. This is how we put all our uh, control surfaces on our, on our wings, on our airplanes. Um, once again, you can use any, uh, you can use um, this clear duct tape. Just uh, make sure you use the name brand. Don't try to cut corners on your hinges. That's that'd be a mistake right there. Use 3M blender tape. We have it in half inch, one inch, and two inch widths. But right now I'm going to show you how to do a glue hinge. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by pinning down the wing to a flat surface. You want to point your pins towards the inside because you're going to be holding pressure up against it. So put a couple pins in there, and then on your control surface, on your aileron right here, you want to put another pin in couple more facing inwards and the idea here is to get this line and this surface mated very smoothly same thing on this side grab a couple of pins and line that up put the pins facing inward so it holds the pressure there and then once again we're going to do a glue hinge right here what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a 1 8 inch bead of glue right over the top of the um, place where the wing and the aileron come together a little 1 8 inch bead then we're going to take our razor blade that we had earlier we're just going to take this and lay this down very lightly and very lightly we're going to smooth that little bead out into about a little half inch quarter of an inch wide little bead of glue just like that come over to the other side do the same thing on the other side we're going to go ahead and lay down a little eighth inch bead of glue right there. It's this easy. See, and once the, um, unlike putting tape on top of a surface, the glue actually flows into the pores of the EPP and becomes part of the wing. Once it becomes part of the wing, it makes that wing a lot harder to tear or to move that control surface off to break off or have problems later on down the line. Now, when you're pressing on this down, you don't want to press too hard as to smash the glue too wide because, you know, you're, you're basically making your own little hinge right there. Take and wipe that off of your razor blade, then come back down here. We're going to do the same thing to the elevator and the horizontal stabilizer. Just put a couple of pins in there real quickly like that. And we're going to get our horizontal stabilizer, get a couple more pins in it. Line that up just as level and as perfect as you can get. A couple of pins in there. Check it one more time. If it's off just a little bit, reposition it. There you go. That's a nice smooth surface right there. Once again, we're going to get the glue here. Put a 1 8 inch bead right across there. And there we go. Grab your razor blade, any stick or anything will work. I just happen to have this razor blade handy. Smooth that out nicely. Comes out to a little, nice little hinge right there. And that's it. That's your two control surfaces hinged. We'll be right back with how to put these onto the fuselage. Thanks for watching.